Hey, it's Michael Spurs here. In this video, I want to shoot a quick demonstration of what I do just before I'm about to face new noise. Well, this can be if you're in chronic pain of any way, when you have to face some activity you've got to do and you're worried about the pain coming on. So as you can see here, I've got my mower out. I'm about to go and do some mowing. And I've had a flare up with my ear issue over the last three weeks or something. It's been, I've had a bad period of it, a big flare up. So it's much better now, but I've got some apprehension about going about the mowing. Usually I wouldn't have to do this anymore because I've built up the, the confidence I can do that without affecting my ears. And this is a much quieter mower, it's a battery operated one, which has been fantastic, it's really good. But I'm feeling a bit apprehensive because I've just been through that flare up period, I don't know if I can handle it in that. Okay, so like I said, um, I'm just going to do a basic video. I'm not going to go through all the tapping and that, uh, we're going to do some EFT tapping. You can go through my 7 day free, 7 day challenge. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, you can learn all about tapping and how it works, all the points, and I'll show you various aspects how to approach anything with chronic pain. Okay, so go and check that out. You can join that straight away and get started. Okay, so when I think about mowing right now, I'm feeling, I'm noticing what I'm feeling. I'm feeling apprehension. And I'm thinking thoughts to myself, oh no, what if it happens again? Will I be able to handle this? I'm not sure if I can uh, do my own mowing anymore. All those old fears are coming up again. Okay. So what I'd do before I do mowing or anything that's going to involve noise, I'd start tapping on those fears. I'd tap on the actual fears, what I'm going to, what I'm, the anticipation, anticipationary fears. Okay, so I'm just going to tap on them and then I'll go and mow. And then after I finish mowing, uh, usually I don't feel it straight away, I feel it later. So after I finish mowing, I might do some more tapping on the fears I might have now that I've done it. So after I've done it, what, 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 what am I feeling then? Okay. And the other important thing is while I'm mowing, is I don't want to be thinking about, oh, my ears, my ears. So what I'll be doing to myself is I'll be singing a song in my head. I'll be having fun. I'll be going, how, much, how fun is this getting to mow my own lawn? Because I love doing my lawn. So find what you find fun about the activity you're going to face, whether it's for your ears, you've got hyperacusis like me, or the tinnitus. The tinnitus rings for me too. It was pretty loud the last few weeks. That's settled down a little bit now. Yeah, but if you say you've got to walk up a stairwell or something because you're in back pain or leg pain or something, and you, you don't, you're dreading facing things like that, or you have to go for a long walk and you, you can't make it, this is what you do beforehand, okay? This is the fear, you gotta get rid of the fears because it's the fears that are holding the pain and the sensations and everything in place. And they're just gonna um, reinforce the pain habit for you, okay? So basically all I'm gonna do now is I'm thinking about the fears, what do I feel? I probably say I've got anticipationary anxiety at about a six, level six, okay? And all this is explained in the seven day challenge. And there's plenty of resources in that challenge. So you just sign up for that when you're ready, okay? So I'm just gonna quickly tap. I'm not gonna explain what I'm doing, so. Even though I'm feeling anticipationary anxiety, the level six about this fear about mowing because I've just had a flare up, don't know if I'm going to be able to handle it. I'm going to love set to forgive myself anyway and give it a go. Okay, even though I'm feeling a bit worried, a bit scared, a bit nervous, this anxiety about the sound of the mower, can I handle it? Can I handle it for one hour? Now, I've handled this mowing for three, four hours at a time with, with earplugs and earmuffs, like being common sense, because uh, anyone would have to do that, right? Any normal person. I'm still going to love, accept, and forgive myself and accept where I'm at right now with my ears and my life. Okay? So, again, in the challenge, we go through the acceptance of what to do with acceptance of the pain as well. Okay, so I'm just going to tap on just various points. This anticipation anxiety, feeling scared, got to mow the lawn. Will it flare me up again? Am I ready for this? Can I handle this again? This is going to be too much for me. I don't know if I can handle this. And now I can feel a breath already. I feel like some emotion starting to loosen up on me. Feeling a bit anticipation anxiety. Level six. Can I handle it today? Can I handle the noise of the mower for about an hour? Can I handle the whippersnipper later? even noisier will I be okay all right and I'm gonna take a breath I'll just check in with myself and I've noticed that when I think about mowing now that level six has probably dropped maybe about a four or so okay and I'm gonna probably I'm gonna do a bit more of that on my own away from the video but I just wanted to demonstrate how I do it because people have asked me uh, with this ear issue how do I do these things before and after an events happened okay so that's pretty much it. Now, if you don't know what EFT tapping is, if you're just wondering what the hell's he doing here, what's, what's all this about? Um, I suggest you go and sign up for my course. It's, it's all explained in the page. The link will go through the page to explain what it's all about. 
and you can try this for your own pain issue, whether it's pain or your hyperacusis like me or the tinnitus that might help. It helps with the emotions around things, okay? This is more to do with the emotions. But when you clear emotions around things, when you manage your emotional state, it tends to clear, it tends to help any condition at least ease. And I've even seen miraculous sort of results where people have cleared up pains altogether within you know a few rounds of this, okay? So try it out, you've got nothing to lose. It's a free course I've got there for you. Um, let me know what you think of this one. If you've got any questions about anticipationary anxiety or fears about approaching um, something you have to do because you're in pain, you don't know if you can do it or not, um, just leave some comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, I'll leave it here. I'm into the mowing now. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.